am on my way to my evening yoga class. It's about 6.30 in the evening right now. And um, my gym has this cool outdoor pavilion where they do outdoor classes. And I'm super excited to take my yoga class there. Uh, last week I went actually completely accidentally. Okay, so my gym added that outdoor space pavilion last year and I never really came to any of the classes. And uh, last week I was taking my spin class in the evening and I saw that there's yoga going on in the pavilion. So I jumped in and when I tell you that was like the coolest experience ever, doing yoga outside and feel the wind on your body, it is so relaxing and it really completely takes your mind off of anything else that might be going through your mind. I am filming on my phone right now, so I hope the quality will be okay. But um, yeah, so I'm super excited. I need to make a stop at Ulta, pick up something uh, that I purchased off of uh, the app because right now Ulta has the hair event going on. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. I'm still on a low buy and I have a ton of hair products, but I wanted to try those two things. And I'm gonna stop very quickly, pick up those things from Ulta and head to my yoga class. Seriously, how cute is this collection? Adorable. I don't need it, absolutely, but this is so cute. Package secured. From the gym that outdoor session of yoga felt so so good if you've never tried it this is your sign if you don't even do yoga I'm like girl I don't do yoga just go and sit outside in the evening time and feel the wind on your skin listen to nature it's so calming and if you do practice yoga if you've never done an outdoor one please do please give it a try because it is absolutely like another level of experience and then you can come back and tell me how much you liked so today i wanted to try out this set of lashes and i know they kind of went viral a while back several months back i would want to say on tiktok the reason why i picked them up is because we were invited to hang out with our friends in their beach house this weekend and I know for a fact that I'm not gonna be wearing makeup. So my makeup this time, my makeup bag this time is literally like this tiny because I literally took like five items with me because I know for a fact we're gonna be on the beach for most part and it's gonna be like barbecue and whatnot and uh, hang out in the house. So I wanted to try these lashes and see if maybe I can just throw them on and um, not wear makeup at all. I got the style natural. Here, while I'm opening this package, I'll tell you a little bit of a backstory here. So I had no luck, absolutely no luck with using like little single clusters of those lashes. And if you've been here on my channel, you know I've tried a few of that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people apply these on camera, but I've never heard anybody like reviewing them, how everything worked out after all. So I'm here to do just that. So today I'm gonna just try to apply them and see how they work. However, I just will have to keep you updated in my monthly, probably either collective haul or my monthly favorites and fails because I am very curious how they're gonna work. So this side you're not supposed to touch because it is supposedly pre-glued and you should not need any glue or anything like that. It also says that it's very easy to remove them. You just kind of have to grab a piece and just pull it. So like I said, I will definitely give you an update on these because I'm so curious. So these are my natural lashes. I don't have a lot going on. I also consider my eyes sensitive. One wrong move and my eyes just start watering so badly that it just doesn't stop sometimes for hours. So long story short, let me just go ahead and apply it. I will, I won't be able to talk through this, but I'm gonna like speed through this moment. This package comes with this tool and it's metal. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use my Ulta lash applicator tool. I like this a lot. So I use this to apply all my lashes. The day I got this, I never looked back. I was like, how did I live my life 
without this tool before. So let me go ahead and apply everything and uh, I will give you my thoughts. guys I struggled a little bit here because I feel like my eyes started getting a little bit watery okay guys so this is zoomed in this is my natural lashes and this is it this is what it looks like it actually looks really nice I love the effect of it it does look like you have extensions on I really like that you kind of have to do it under your lashes so your lid is bare when I look down you don't see like a strip of lashes so if I look under my eye I definitely can see that there are four different parts and they don't line up properly so if you're gonna be like super peaky peaky then yes this is the part that I can definitely see that something is going on under there but honestly if you practice a little bit more and do a little bit better job i think you can uh you know perfect this a little bit more the little trick here i think that i learned is that you need to stick them to your lashes directly do not touch like the waterline uh, directly apply them to the lashes and they stick really well make sure your lashes are like not coated with any like lash serums or anything watery because it's not gonna stick. I kind of like it. I think I am vibing with this for now. Let me go ahead, apply this other eye and uh, maybe I'll have some extra thoughts. So here are my initial thoughts. I definitely had easier time with my right eye because my right eye is just generally a better child, a more behaved one. And because of that, I actually feel like I need to cut this a little bit shorter, like this piece. So I ended up using four pieces on each eye, but I would need to make this a little bit shorter on my left eye. And there are five on each row, right? So this is a little bit longer. I used the shorter ones for the first time and I have two more left. I'm definitely curious if they're going to be reusable. So another thing is that I try to use this tool when I was applying these lashes right here on my left eye and I did not like this at all. So I definitely found it very easy to use this tool for the outside area on my eye. I would hold my tool like this and then for the inner corner I would turn it and then I would do the curve of the tool inside. So I found this tool being very, very easy to use. And this one, I'm literally gonna put a trash right now. I definitely like the effect. I really like that you don't see the strip on your lid. That's kind of cool. Stay tuned for my later videos. I'll definitely be updating you. I'm super curious about this set of lashes and anything that makes our lives easier, right? We will like. I want to know if you've tried these or if you tried maybe something similar or a different style and how that worked out for you. Or if you have your favorite lashes, just generally share them in the comment section below. I would love to know. pedicure is done I usually do my nails like I like doing my fingernails but I also like getting my pedicures done in the salon and you guys I found the most perfect nude nail polish or gel nail polish rather that I'm gonna pop here on the screen for you I also didn't want to put like my totesies on the screen so this is not that type of channel so I first tried this nail polish or gel nail polish last time that I had my nails done last month and I decided to try the same nail polish this time. I wrote down the number. Do you ever do the same nail polish on your toes or you pick different colors every single time? Let me know. So this specific gel nail polish is 451 from DND brand. And I actually found it also on Amazon. I'll have it linked for you because I was thinking to buy it myself for to have at home because I like to do my nails myself. I, like I said, like I do my fingernails myself but uh the toenails i also know how to do but i just like sometimes to come to the salon and have them done it's like the beautiful nude color but has a little bit of pinkiness in it and i just think it's so flattering that nude color that doesn't wash out your skin tone but complements it rather in the past i rarely found myself writing down some nail polish colors and this time i did i was like oh my god this is literally the most perfect nude color for my toes just let me know in the comments below if you like a very much trendy 
like you only put like trend colors on your nails or you're just kind of like that classic basic person that wears neutrals for most part or you have like your favorite colors let's chat in the comment section about that so i also took my book with me the lessons in chemistry that's what i'm reading right now by bonnie garmis and this is a best-selling book from 2022 launch and this is a sizzler this is like a hot read right now and i was in the library switching my monthly books and i saw this with this sticker do you guys see what the sticker says it says 14 day sizzler it's basically like one of those hot reads when you do not get extension on them usually my library would give me like two extensions like so you'd practically get like three months of uh, books uh, to hold on to if you wanted to if you want to read it for that long and um this one you only get 14 days and if you do not return it in 14 days they block your account so it's like serious business so i grabbed this book without even blinking i was like wow like you rarely get your hands on sizzlers so i am reading this book because i only have like 14 days to finish it and bring it back i'm practically done with it but such an amazing book if you have a chance to read it i highly recommend it's about this super talented chemist lady and due to her complications in a life uh she ended up taking this job as a cooking show host and she became super popular like i can't stop reading it it's an incredible book and it's also about a lot of underlying issues let's say about like feminism and about inequality you know between women and men in society things like that so it definitely talks about different other things except just cooking and stuff so she talks about motherhood she talks about like work relationships and friendships and things like that so it's a very very interesting book i thoroughly enjoy it and so the reason why i started talking about the book is because i have to finish it in 14 days and i literally do not put this down because i have to carry it everywhere with me so i took this book to my nail appointment so while i was getting my nails done i kept reading anyway i have some errands to run i'm also wearing this makeup i wanted to show you what's on my skin i'm wearing the catrice foundation i will have a link for you in the description box i primed my face with the ulta beauty spf tinted moisturizer because that one is also a primer it's really nice smoothing product and it serves me as a primer so i do not need to use additional primer i feel like it also controls my oils really well while also being an spf and i also just wore catrice foundation it matches my skin tone really well when i'm in my palette so i don't really have to like bronze or anything like that and i'm wearing my lipstick from ColourPop. this is a glowing lip from their last summer's collection and uh it's nice and orange as you can see i'm in my car and i have a ton of errands to run today i just wanted to get this pedicure out of the way first thing in the morning and uh, I better get going. Errands. So I was running some errands early this morning and while I was in a certain neighborhood, I stopped in a Asian supermarket, which is a little bit further away from where I would live. So sometimes I, when I happen to be in that area, I do stop by to pick up some goodies. So I'm gonna show you some of the favorite things that I usually pick up there. I'm just generally a huge foodie. Like I love trying different cuisines different foods wherever we go i of course always have my favorites um things that i just generally love but i also love to try different foods here there are actually a few snacks and then there are some things that you would actually cook but i will show you my favorite snacks and this is the one that i recently discovered and it's absolutely delicious I barbecue flavored coated peanuts and this is the brand I don't even love peanuts on their own uh, as a snack. I don't hate it, but I, it's not like my favorite nut out of all of them. But this barbecue flavor is so good. It's a little bit spicy, but it's like very mild spice because I also do not like very spicy things. The ones that are like red pepper burning into your mouth. This is just a really nice, comfortable spice. They're peanuts, but they have like a hard shell around them. And I already ate this much because yeah i was driving and i absolutely needed to get my hands on this i also picked up these two packs they're different flavors is a pokies i guess that's what they're called so this one i've already tried many times i like to have them to go with coffee teas things like that it's like very small portion if you just try to control your sugar intake like i do I love sugary things and it's always a struggle for me to control my sugars because for me it's like all or nothing. Put anything sugary in front of me that's delicious, I will eat it like the entire thing. So this is a good portion control. This is the new flavor that I picked up. This is 
almond crunch. So it's a chocolate cream covered biscuit sticks with uh, real almonds. So this is a little bit larger pack. I don't know if the sticks are gonna be a little bit longer. Then I picked up the matcha. This is a three in one matcha green tea latte. This is an instant thing. So I'm trying to introduce more matcha into my daily life at home. So if you have any good recommendations, if you know like a good a recipe for home, share with me in the comments below. But uh, so far I like to have these on hand, but I definitely want to learn how to make it from scratch with like matcha powder and everything. And, and another thing that I picked up is this uh, mini chicken gyoza. I love them. They're so easy to make. Like whenever I do not have time for making lunch or a small like quick bite, you can cook them different ways, but they're delicious and it takes you absolutely no time to make it. This one is a similar thing. This is a vegetable and chicken dumplings. Then I also picked up the brown rice rolls. I'm not a huge snack person. Like I'm just not used to it. If I feel like I'm hungry, I would have a meal. I would have my breakfast, I would have my lunch and I would have my dinner. And then if I want a snack, I would usually have like a nice toast with like peanut butter and a jelly. Maybe I'll have like an apple with peanut butter, something like that. So if I want a snack, I would usually eat something that's like a fruit or maybe like a cucumber, uh, something like that. Like I am not really huge on like packaged snacks, I'll be honest with you, but this is one that I discovered when I was on keto diet. And since then, once in a while, I would just buy it. The macros on this snack is actually not so bad. And there are different kinds of them with different flavors. This other item that I bought is a bean sprout. So it's in a bag like this. So I love these on a salad. This is like my favorite thing to eat. I can like actually eat them like this, like as a snack. This would be my snack, like if I wanted to eat something. I love those. It's just like the texture of it and the taste. It's just like so fresh and crunchy. Love it. And then I just picked up some vegetables like mushrooms, onions, cilantro, because I'm thinking to do a guacamole later on. And I also picked up these two packs with sunflower seeds. These are the ones that I always buy whenever I go to the Korean supermarket. So this is just uh, sunflower seeds with a natural flavor. You don't need to pan fry them or prepare them in any way. They're ready to go and vacuum sealed. And they do come in different flavors as well. There's like barbecue, there's like sweeter ones, uh, whatever fits your preference. There are some of them, they're spicy. I usually buy multiple packs because fun story. Sunflower seeds is like a big thing in Russia. I feel like it's a huge cultural Russian thing. And uh, there are other countries, they love the sunflower seeds just as much. And uh, I was very happy to find these because I tried different brands from like our local supermarket and they definitely are not, they're definitely not the same. I would like to know um, if that's a thing for you as well because it's definitely a thing for me. I was definitely very happy to find this brand. So this is just some of the items that I picked up. Um, this is not my primary area where I would go food shopping, but I like some of these things that I cannot find in regular supermarkets. 